Special Counsel Robert Mueller and New York federal prosecutors charged Cohen with campaign finance crimes, lying to Congress, and other crimes. Cohen pleaded guilty, despite having been one of Trump's closest confidants. President Donald Trump's former personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, was sentenced Wednesday to three years in prison after pleading guilty to tax fraud, campaign finance violations, and lying to Congress. Prosecutors said some of those crimes were done on Trump's behalf and others were directed by Trump himself. At his hearing in Lower Manhattan, an emotional Cohen told the judge that he covered up dirty deeds for Trump in acts of blind loyalty. I take full responsibility for each act that I pled guilty to, Cohen said, the personal ones to me and those involving the President of the United States of America. Federal prosecutors in New York, who charged Cohen with some of the crimes, said he should spend about 3.5 in prison the judge found that sentencing guidelines recommended 51 to 63 months. Special counsel Robert Mueller, who is prosecuting Cohen for lying to Congress, didn't suggest adding on to that considering Cohen assisted his investigation. Guy Petrillo, Cohen's lawyer, argued on Wednesday for leniency, telling the judge that Cohen knew that the president might shut down the investigation. Cohen had asked for no additional prison time beyond that already served. U.S. District Judge William Pauley, however, made clear that Cohen's status as a lawyer meant that should have known better. Despite his cooperation with the special counsel's investigation, Pauley found that a significant prison sentence was appropriate. Cohen lied to the U.S. Senate Select Committee on Intelligence and the House of Representatives Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence which, like Mueller, is investigating Russian interference in the 2016 election about pursuing a Trump Tower in Moscow in 2016. The details of the Trump Tower Moscow deal were first revealed by BuzzFeed News in May. Read more, Trump Moscow the definitive story of how Trump's team worked the Russian deal during the campaign. Cohen told both committees that the potential Moscow deal by the Trump organization ended in January 2016 but it was actually still being discussed within the Trump organization in June 2016. Cohen also planned to travel to Moscow to work on the deal and was arranging for Trump to visit even though he told Congress last year the opposite. And he said he didn't know of any discussions with the Russian government over the tower. Russian officials offered to organize for Cohen to meet with either Russian President Vladimir Putin or Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev, prosecutors said. Cohen lied, prosecutors said, to reduce the links between Trump and Moscow, and to limit investigations into links between Trump's campaign and Russia. As Cohen well knew, Cohen's representations about the Moscow project he made to Congress were false and misleading, special counsel prosecutors wrote. Cohen made the false statements to, 1, minimize links between the Moscow project and individual 1 and, 2, give the false impression that the Moscow project ended before the Iowa caucus and the very first primary, in hopes of limiting the ongoing Russia investigations. Mueller's filing in this case revealed significant information about his investigation into Trump campaign ties to Russia's efforts to interfere with the 2016 presidential election. In that filing, for example, Mueller for the first time directly said that Trump was aware of activity during the campaign that is relevant to his investigation. He noted that the Moscow Tower discussions came during sustained efforts by the Russian government to interfere in the general election. Cohen also facilitated hush money payments to adult actress Stormy Daniels and Playboy model Karen McDougal who said they had affairs with Trump so as to suppress the stories. Prosecutors in New York wrote, Cohen acted to influence the 2016 election. They added the payments were excessive campaign contributions, prosecutors said. Cohen told prosecutors that for both payments he acted in coordination with and at the direction of individual one, who prosecutors identified as Trump.